Now we're going to try to shake the money tree. Let's talk a little bit about what that means and how you go about doing that. Let's face it, a great idea is just that, right? It's a great idea. If you don't get the capital you need to execute on the great idea, the idea goes to waste. Well, many times the difference between getting the money and not getting the money isn't necessarily the quality of the idea. It's the understanding of how to get the money. And that's what Shake the Money Tree is all about. I'm going to share with you the insider secrets and strategies we use to find money for all kinds of restaurant deals, all kinds of bar deals, all kinds of food service industry deals. And it's these strategies that, if implemented properly, are going to let you take your concept, your idea, from just an idea to fruition. <clears throat> So a big question is, do you have the documents and tools you need? Well, you've got to have a business plan. You've got to have an investor presentation. You have to have the elevator pitch. We're going to go into those tools as, long, as well as documents you need from a legal perspective, an accounting perspective, so that you can get where you want to go. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the state of funding in our industry right now. Back in the 90s, again, we used to go to the bank to get our funding. You go through a small business loan, uh, you'd fill out the paperwork with your local banker and have him give you a loan. Today, it's about angel investors. And angel investors are kind of different kind of birds. It's not your normal way of thinking. They're normally people that have had success in some other walk of life. Let me tell you the different types of people that invest in the restaurant and bar industries. Celebrities, NFL athletes, NBA athletes, movie stars, country music stars, rock stars, television stars, media personalities, doctors, lawyers, bankers, developers, entrepreneurs, grandmas, grandpas, moms and dads. The reality is, is people from every walk of life invest in this industry. Why do they invest in this industry? Because people from every walk of life use this industry on a regular basis. See, what makes it a little bit different is most people don't wake up one day and say, I want to be a brain surgeon. Most people don't wake up one day and say, I want to be an astrophysicist. Most people don't wake up one day and say, I want to be a lawyer. It's not unusual for people to wake up and say, I want to own a restaurant. The reason that is, is for the most part, we don't go to a doctor's office and sit in the waiting room watching how he or she runs their business and says, I can do this better, or I would do this differently, or you know what, I think next week I'm going to come up with my concept for opening, opening a medical practice. We don't, for the most part, go to a lawyer's office, start thinking about how he or she is running their business, and say, you know what, I think I could do it better, or I think I could do it differently. Next week, I'd like to start on a business plan on how to open a legal practice. But we do that with restaurants all the time. So the same people that are dining in restaurants get intrigued by restaurants, and therefore they want to invest in them. An angel investor is somebody who's had success at a high level, usually in some other industry. They're sitting on capital. They're tired of investing in stocks or bonds or mutual funds. They're not wanting to play the games of the stock exchange or the legal process they have to go through to put investments into different vehicles. And they think, you know what, I'd like to take an entrepreneur and give them an opportunity to build what it is they want to build. I want to put my money into that offering, and I want to see this come to fruition. Now, sometimes they say, I want to invest in restaurants, 
because then I can tell my friends that I'm a part owner in XYZ restaurant. But see, for the most part, society knows that restaurants aren't going anywhere. They're going to be around for the long haul. People have to eat. People have to frequent restaurants. Restaurants are a major component in the day-to-day -day lives of every man, woman, and child in America, and many men, women, and child, children around the world. This is the funding phase. There are five phases to starting a restaurant. The pursuit phase, the funding phase, the site selection phase, the prepare to open phase, and the open for business phase. This is the funding phase. And I want to make sure that you understand more about each of the components. You should already have pursuit capital in hand. And what pursuit capital is, is the money you need to get from idea to its time to chase funding. You're going to use pursuit capital, twenty to fifty thousand dollars, to get you the name, the logo, the branding, the marketing look and feel, the building look and feel, the concept, the menu, the package of goods you're going to need to go find funding. And in this phase, funding is more about going from that part of the process to getting you to, let's go look for a site. The business plan. The business plan is usually Low side, 12, 15 pages. I've seen them as much as 100 pages. Less is more. Stay focused on the task at hand. There are plenty of places you can go to get a business plan. Our company offers business plan uh, 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 work. The reality is, is it's expensive if you don't create the business plan on your own. Part of the reason for that is the process of creating the business plan is about digging deep into your guts and your soul and determining what you want and putting the pieces together in a coherent fashion so that it can be used. The investor presentation, 8 to 12, 8 to 15 PowerPoint slides that the investor can look at so that they can get excited about what you're doing. The elevator pitch, anywhere from minute and 40 seconds to 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Ideally, tell the investor what you have to tell them in 2 minutes. The funding documents, the type of entity you're going to create, the subscription agreement you're going to use, the big boy letter that you're going to provide, so that the person that is looking at the investment offering has a way of knowing what they're getting into. <laughs>